How are you doing, Alan? Good. Good. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Pat. So we're doing a video here. Okay. Or, well, actually, you're doing a video. Yes. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to job shadow you for my school. Job shadow. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? A cartoonist, comic book artist. Nice. Very comic book could be a, the book could actually be a digital book too. Right? Yes. A graphic. Any holograms. Yeah. yeah you know. Like anything. You know. Okay. Right here we have our assembly table. Well, this is a new print that I've been working on. Pemquid bicycle girls. We have our storage area right over there. Over here we set up our framing and get things ready. That's our shipping terminal. And uh, we have a station here for video editing and my printer right here. This is a new print. This is Augusta Mountain. Lighthouse. The only landlocked lighthouse in Maine. It's Ooh. called Ladies Delight. That's why I have some ladies having a cocktail there. So, so that's their delight. <laughs> and this is where I work. Jeff, yeah, my wife Erin. How you doing, man? <laughs> so, anyway, and this okay. is what I drink right, in the so morning. Are you, you think she'll be fine after? Yeah, I have, actually. <laughs> well, you could do two things. One, you could Maybe join a comic book, like yeah. Mad Magazine or something, which yeah. is already established. And Still, I think it's doing pretty good. Oh, it's right. a funny magazine. Right. Uh, or you could kind of create your own, and or do the same thing, create your own series, put them online, yeah. and just keep doing it like you're doing. You'd love to do it all and stuff like that, and draw cartoon stories, and come up with some creative things. The more you do it, the better you get at it. This is my exercise I do at home. Don't really work out, so. So I print a lot of my big prints here. And then my calendar, for example, this is in, um, this is printed at Jason McCarthy, just a couple, few miles away from here. And they print thousands of these, so I don't print them here. Okay. Now I gotta sign a couple prints. This is the one we're gonna laminate. This is a brand new image from my 2020 calendar. Jacob Glidden. Oh. Okay. Alright, so that's that. And he's gonna laminate that. Alright, so we're good with that. Oh yeah. Yeah, she was up there this weekend. I mean, they're fine. Yeah. They probably won't know. So Jacob? Are you paying attention? You need a pencil, I need a piece of paper. Okay. But also you need one of these things, a computer. Okay. A computer will help you. If you go faster, you have more freedom with it. I worked on last night. It's something simple, but it was. It took me a while. Yeah. Then oh, this is my comic, and I have it set in different layers, so I can draw behind it and not have anything get in the way. And then I was working on this today and this as well this morning i finished this this morning cool nice graphic thank you and i have a couple more this one is from a comic i worked on this one as well seems a bit angry yeah, yeah. where is that deep resentment from, coming from nowhere it's just something i was working on then i did something for my of my grandfather oh that's cool yeah <laughs> Yeah, so that's about it. Now, Jacob, what, what, where's the inspiration of the drooling, snoring person? Uh, mainly my morning routine, wiping the drool off of my face. Is this sleeping. you? It's a representation. Blonde hair? You gonna dye your hair blonde? Yeah. Maybe you know, yeah. one day. Yeah. Big spike. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> He's having a hard day. That's funny. Yeah. Rough night. What happened then? Um, he's gonna find out. He doesn't really remember anything. He's gonna find out when that happens. Yeah. He's gonna find out. Now, do you start with uh, a sketch of a, the whole general story, or do you go by? I where? usually write it on a Google Doc what I'm going to be doing in the comic, how I want it to look, and then maybe if there's going to be a second one, I'll start planning that one out as well. 
So you write what you're doing. You write a whole each like, panel like yeah. a storyboard. Okay, yeah. almost. I read that kind of rough sketch of everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So how did you become this famous? What was the process? Well, almost famous, but the thing is, is um, okay. So Aaron and I got married at a lighthouse, and that's what started this whole idea of doing. Um, I was impressed by the lighthouse colors and stuff, and I said, "Well, I could, I could create travel posters of lighthouses," and that's um, that was my side project, kind of like what you're doing right now. You're going to school, but you also have this project that you're working on. There, right. You know? And I just said to myself, "I'm just going to make this the best I can." And I, for, you know, it was not a matter of time or money. I was just going to do the very best I could. So I came out with the first six lighthouses. The first six lighthouses it took me two and a half years to do. I just wanted the right style and font and, and uh, create my own lettering. And that was 2007. And then I started doing shows. And then over time, build up. And if you work not only work hard, because everybody works hard, right? To work hard at McDonald's, to work hard at other places, but if you work hard on yourself, harder than you work on your job or at school, learning how to be disciplined, learning how to focus and um, concentration, uh, discipline, that will take you to the next level. Because you could have a lot of talent, but if you don't, work with your talent and organize your talent there's all these attributes more than talent hard work and perseverance really makes you takes you to the next level because there's a lot of talented people out there but they don't apply themselves if you don't apply yourself it's not going to happen for you nobody's going to discover you so right. you have to discover yourself and that's got to go through that journey and that's not easy but there's a reward at the end so So uh, I asked Jacob to draw me a giraffe. 